Alright, back to some more Karma 1, and let's see, Coastal Carnage is the next race, so let's just go race. Quote, quote, race. Not really. The racing is just a pretense. Like this starting grid, it's like, ah, uh, you don't necessarily want to be in the front. Like, I don't really want to be in front of him. Well, do I, do I want to be in front of him? I guess I don't care who I'm in front of. I just want to be in front of somebody so I can back up into it. So I like to do that. So there's get a few credits right off the beginning. If they're a smaller car, you can just kind of push them around. But yeah. That one's a little too large. Oh, jeez. Took that a little faster than I should have. Old Ivan. Oh, whoa. Okay, Ed 101 does not want me to hit Ivan. Oh, but now he's stuck. Oh, hung up on the thing. That's what you get. Oh, yes. Uh, I love hitting cows. Whether they're made of paper or not. Son of a bitch. You know, because in this game they're 2D, so you know, paper. It's still good. They still make a greasy stain. Spanner. That's one thing about them being 2D. Actually, I'm not sure if it's a result of 2D. But in this game, you don't have to go very fast to, to hit them. Like, if I were to stop, and if he were to just run straight at my car and hit me, he would, he would explode into a pile of guts and die. Obviously die, I guess. That's obvious, but... Exploding in a pile of guts is kind of the main thing there. It's like, you know, <laughs> just ran into me. But that's because it's an old game and the programming had to fit the technology at the time, of course. Lots and lots of 2D stuff. I mean, the cars and the terrain are about the only things that are 3D, really that I can think of. Holy crap. Now, even these trees are 2D, look at them. Because there's actually two 2D sprites crossing in the middle. Whoop. Oh, now I'm stuck. Great. And I'm at kind of an angle, you can't even look at the tree properly. Well, you can kind of see the leaves that are... Dang it. Insert. What a horrible place to get hung up. Just. In the middle of nowhere. Oof. And here's this broken bridge. This is very classic terrain here. And of course they have redone this this track on the new game. Did everybody where is my map? Yeah, everybody went down. Except for Grim. And yeah, he's going down. Alright. I can land on... Nope, I can't land on either. Upside down. Alright, so the trick to landing on your tires is... Throw it into a spin. Lateral spin. Make sure that your tires are down. You'll land at a weird angle. You have to turn around whenever you land, but at least you won't be upside down. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. For such an old game, the damage physics really are pretty good. Ooh. Did I get invincibility? I think I did. I think that's what the shield is. It's always good to have invincibility. It's not that... I, I, I've never really been able to figure out exactly how to use it to my main advantage. I mean, I never really try to run into anything whether I'm invincible or not. I mean, I could, right now, I could slam into one of these trees at full speed. Not have any problem. Probably knock the tree over. But, it wouldn't get me anything. It's not that I'm uh, complaining about being invincible, it's just that I don't know how to make that my advantage. 30 seconds of invincibility, you know. If it was a little more, maybe 
Especially if there's... Yeah, now that I think about it, if, if there was like semis round round, which there is in this game, and there will be in the new one. Can't wait for semis in the new one. Are you still running into this wall? Jesus. Let me assist your suicide. There's a cow behind me. Splat. Ha! <laughs> nice. Jesus. Get dead already. Hey, what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a corny name, but... <laughs> it was relevant. <laughs> what do you call a guy with... Oh, that's, that's a little politically incorrect. But what do you call a guy with no arms and no legs in a swimming pool? You call him Bob. <laughs> corny jokes. Let's see here. Uh, what, what do you call a chick with one leg and no arms? <laughs> Peg. <laughs> uh, I think that's all I got. <laughs> I don't know where I got those jokes. I had them forever. They're not very good. <laughs> Wasted. All right, how many we got now? Oh, that was the first one wasted. Huh? Well, I'm on a roll. This guy's on fire. He ain't got much left. Yeah. <laughs> get this cow. Okay, maybe not. Oh, okay. Get the cow. All right. Oh, oh, grim. Upside down in the corner over here. If the camera will cooperate. There you go. Oh, that's a nasty little corner right there. I'll just I'll just get some speed. Wedge him right in there. Yeah, I remember. I used to go to first person view just so that I could see forward while I'm backing up. Handy tactic. Make sure he's not driving away. Of course, he's not driving away, but you know. If he was up on his wheels. And if I take my eyes off him too, too long, he might teleport away. There we go. Whoop. I can hear somebody. Where is he? There he is. Man, he is not fast. Splatter. <laughs> Cows spinning through the air. Your toast. Yes. I knew he was almost dead. Let's see here. We've got one to our right over here. Where's there? Behind this? Oh, yeah. You're upside down just like Grim was. How unfortunate for you. Oh, oh. Have fun. Pinball mode. Yeah. Come on. Get in there. Have fun. No, seriously. Dang it, it's not as violent as it needs to be. Get dead! Alright, well, you're dead, anyway. It's all bouncing around a little bit. Not quite as violent as it needs to be, though. Like on the new one, and like on the second game. It's, it's just... It's like instant fear as soon as you t turn on pinball mode. It's like, oh no, I better not touch anything <laughs> can die. That's how pinball mode should be. You, know, you run over the pe pedestrians wrong. You know, and hit the hit the, the you know, hit hit the guts in just a, a, such a way so that your frame hits the ground and you start skyrocketing, you know. That kind of thing. That's what pinball mode needs to be. Last one. Race completed. And there you go. Bunch of dead cows. Bunch of dead opponents. I don't know. If, did I repair? Did I even repair? Wow. I don't know. I don't think so. Not that it matters. I mean, it just doesn't take as... It takes money to repair, so you don't want to repair as much as possible. 97. Bunch of dead enemies. Sweetness. I think 97... Let me check here. 97 was the... Uh, 
The rank I needed for... No, it's 96 for the next race. I should be able to get that when I uh, do this one. Which we will do on the next episode. So we'll see you guys next time.